So in my opinion, selling sample packs the traditional way will soon be phased out because of websites like splice.com, sounds.com, and other subscription-based websites. So if you're a producer that sells to producers and you don't work with Splice or a similar company, or you don't sell your sounds the way that Splice does, then you will be left behind. I'll talk more about this a little bit later. Hey everybody, my name is Chris Puncelan. Welcome back to another video. On Friday, August 6th, 2019, Kyle Garvin hit me up asking if I wanted to do a video collab. He asked if I could send him some samples to flip, so I went to work. So all of the samples that I cooked up for Kyle and a few other samples plus some drum loops and some other drum sounds are a part of a free kit that I just made. Link in the description if you're interested in downloading it. Now on to the main topic of the video. If I'm not mistaken, splice.com is the number one source for downloading samples from the internet. They have samples, one shots, loops, pretty much anything you can think of. Once you pay their small subscription fee, you get access to millions of sounds created by some of the best producers in the world. This this is how I've been using it lately. I'll go through splice, find a sample, find a drum loop or different drum sounds, quickly create something, record reference vocals, and through that reference, I'll be able to find different pieces that I can put together to have a complete song. Drop top, cooped up. Once that process is finished, I can then go back, add sounds, take out sounds, etc. This makes the creative process very quick and efficient. As the legendary John Mayer said, From this point forward, whenever I'll work with anybody, and I've learned it in myself, it's like, we're not going to make loops first. It's just a, hell, it's a wonderful way to waste time. If you don't go straight to the idea, it's in your mouth, it's in your brain. It's not... Ironically, finding loops and other kinds of sounds on Splice helps me get straight to the idea. So that's why at the beginning of the video, I said that selling sample packs the traditional way is eventually going to be phased out. Nobody wants to spend $20 on an entire pack when they're only going to use one or two samples from that pack. And don't even get me started with drum kits because people have been recycling the same drum sounds forever now. And it just seems really, it, it just doesn't, seem like a smart idea to go and buy a recycled drum kit for $20 when you can pay the small subscription fee that Splice asks for and then you get access to millions of other drum sounds. So with this new wave of selling sounds, I've been transitioning my website to a subscription-based website. While I've been waiting for my website to be finished, I have made all of the newer sample packs. Um, I've given producers the freedom to purchase samples individually rather than buying the entire thing because I know that realistically you're probably only going to use one or two samples from the pack anyways. Those are my thoughts on uh, the current state of selling sample packs. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it in the comments. Let me know.
Hey everybody, if you're wondering how I'm speaking away from the camera and I still sound like I'm right next to you, well, it's because I bought a new microphone. It's on my phone. Today, we're gonna do some tests because I'm really excited about this microphone. I could not sleep the other night that I ordered it because I just kept thinking of all the possibilities. All right, so right now, I know you can't see me, but I've been wanting to do this shot for a really long time, so just bear with me until you see me on the camera, okay? Here we go. All right, guys, I'm outside. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm outside. Going in my car. This is what I paid $150 for. All right, you guys see me pulling away? Because I'm fucking pulling away right now, my dudes. And we're out. This is fucking wild, bro. I feel like I'm in the I feel like I'm in the wild. Re I'm reporting the news. Okay, so I'm pretty sure some people saw the uh the camera, so I'm going to hurry and get back inside cuz I don't want anybody to think I'm a fucking weirdo. And we're back home. Still recording. <laughs> And I'm outside. <laughs> so after that bit, I went out into the wild to test out the microphone. And my first interviewee was my cousin, Marion, AKA Mers. He absolutely hates when I talk about his musical past. Let me ask you one question. Yeah. How come you don't make music anymore? Oh. <laughs> but I figured it's important since I'm doing these vlogs now and you're gonna be seeing him uh, more often. So I figured I should give you guys some backstory. So Mers formerly known as Marion Wright, used to make music. He made music for a very long time, and for the latter part of his career, we worked together a ton. We made an album called 650, we performed a bunch of shows, and we worked on his final EP, Alumni. I learned a lot of invaluable lessons over the years that we've worked together, and I'm super grateful that I was given the opportunity to do that because through those experiences, I feel like I have learned how to conduct myself in a session with another artist and a bunch of other things that I can't really name off top right now. Merz does not make music anymore, but it's really funny to bring it up because he gets kind of mad. So in the future, if you guys see me asking him about music or asking him when he's going to make his next album, just know that it's an inside joke. And now you guys are a part of the inside joke. What do you think of my microphone? You want some salt and vinegar chips? No, I can't eat those. Why? They're gonna get in my braces. Eat one. Hi, we're here live watching UFC 241. This is the new Bud Light Lemon Tea. Bud Light Lemon Tea is one of our sponsors. Also, Lay's Salt and Vinegar Chips. Salt and what? Salt and Vinegar Chips. What's the last two syllables? <laughs> <laughs> We could probably turn that into a beat tag. All right, after a few minutes, I threw the audio into Ableton. As you can see, I transposed it going down in pitch, and this is what it sounds like. I just came from the dentist. They said I have no cavities and they got rid of all my plaque and I got laser treatment to kill all the bacteria in my gums because I was borderline gum disease. But how much does that cost? $450. <laughs> so we ended the night by going to IHOP and um, I did a few more interviews. I hope you guys enjoy this, because this sh is fucking fun to use. All right, I'm here with the loser. Come in here, loser. I'm in here with the loser, Jay. How does it feel to suck? Uh, you know, it's not great. Uh, felt like this all my life, but you know, it still sucks. And how does it feel that you're at that you're at IHOP right now? Come in, come in the frame, please. I feel like a one-legged person. Why is that? Because I hop. Damn, that was a good one. All right, Mers. Please keep your eyes on me. Up here. <laughs> why do Why do you like IHOP? Oh, uh, they give you one extra pancake. Did you get pancakes? I did not get pancakes. <laughs> Can you please remove the lint on your shirt? It's actually not lint. It's actually part of my shirt. Anytime I hear somebody use my sample, it doesn't matter how ass or good or whatever the beat is, it could sound like complete shit. But because they're using my sample, I'm 100% biased and it just sounds good to me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I bought this microphone for. Yes. You, you just go into, when I work it out, 
get on, get on, get on. And just stare at the corner of the wall. Mm -hmm. Stare at the corner of the wall. Try to get it going on, but I can't come.